Welcome, welcome to another year at Hogwarts. I'd like to share with you this exclusive sneak preview of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. You'll definitely notice a few new things. New characters, new creatures, and finally Hermione wearing jeans. As you can see, we've grown a bit, so enjoy the show. This one is sort of the bigger picture. Yeah, it's, it's a lot darker as well. There's a lot more scary things in it. The, the is... fact that it's darker is because it's in the book. Yeah. In the second one, we had the spiders. That yeah. was that was scary <laughs> for me, yeah. But this time, we've got the Dementors. It's a bit of a different ball game to go from, you know, you know, creepy spiders to go to suddenly, you know, peoples which suck your soul out. We do have other things in this one. Yeah, the headproof is really cool. Prisoner of Azkaban compared to the last two films is um, it's a lot different. There's so many different people. Emma Thompson. I was so pleased to be working with her. You may be young in years, but the heart that beats beneath your bosom is as shriveled as an old maid's. Gary Oldman. I have so much respect for him as an actor. Oh. <laughs> Michael Gammon entered into his own yeah. perception of what Dumbledore was going to be like. He was really amazing. A child's voice, however honest and true, is meaningless to those who've forgotten how to listen. It is a much funnier film. Welcome to the night bus. Emergency transport for the stranded witch or wizard. Smack, bam, crash. I get thrown against windows, I'm all over the place. I think you can tell it's a different director. He's just done it in a different way. It's great. Chris Columbus had done the first two films and, and, and he, he had put together a universe that was very eloquent. So it would, I, I feel very comfortable to play in that universe. You're going to about to lose the battle when finally it comes out, OK? So you are... Alfonso has got a real good visual sense. He's always been really strong with actors. I really grew to care about these kids. And I wanted to make sure that they were in the hands of someone who, uh, who would take care of them, who would look out for their best interests. And I think they formed a really strong relationship. Move this. <laughs> OK. <laughs> I was the luckiest guy because uh, I got these three kids that they've done already two Harry Potters. They knew everything relating about their own characters and the universe around them. I was completely blown away by their performances because there's such a maturity, there's such an assurance, there's confidence. Rowling! Rowling! still tense. Listen up, listen up. Alfonso, he was very trusting. Blink. He, he wanted us to put a lot of ourselves and our thoughts into the character. He'd, he'd always turn around and say to you, you come up with whatever feels natural. Yeah. And eventually I think we all got into that and I think it worked really well in the end. Yeah, yeah. that was quite cool. He's funny, he's just really funny and easy to work with as well, which is really good. You know the Egyptians used to worship cats? Yeah, along with a dung beetle. In the series so far, you have never, ever seen us fight. And then suddenly in this one, it all falls apart. It's me and Ron, yeah. where this gets, yeah, it gets really bad. It's the whole cat and the rat thing, isn't it? Ronald has lost his rat. I haven't lost anything. Your cat killed him. The actors are growing up with the characters, and the characters are growing up with the story, and the story itself is obviously much more mature. In this film, there's a major stand towards Dursley's, with Aunt Marge getting inflated <laughs> yeah. by um, a spell that I don't even try to do it. Ah! In this one, Hermione really comes into her own. You foul, loads of them evil little cockroach! Hermione, no! It's like meeting a different person. You know, she's, she's got power. Malfoy insults her. Filthy little mudblood. And instead of, you know, keep walking, just ignore him. That's it! Smack! Oh, oh. It's about time, really. Yeah, take him down a peg or two. We look like teenagers. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Hermione gets to wear jeans. Uh, Ron's clothes were... They stay the same throughout the whole thing. There's like wheezy jumpers and poor clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that. I felt like you got into the character a bit more. The 
Prisoner of Azkaban refers to a character by the name of Sirius Black, who spent the last 12 years in prison because it is thought that he murdered, or was responsible for the murder of Harry's parents. When the film begins, the Prisoner of Azkaban has escaped and is on the run and coming to find Harry Potter. He's been sighted, he's been sighted. Oh. Serious Black. Dufftown? It's not far from here. Well, I look like I've escaped from prison, don't you, don't you think? <laughs> the working with Gary Oldman this time was just the highlight of my life. And when you're working with, like, Gary, um, David Thewlis, who's amazing, like really just, I mean, the scenes with David in the film are just stunning, and Timothy Spall and Alan Rickman all in the same room it's at the same like, time. It's kind okay. of, I'm just going to stand in the corner and be quiet. <laughs> no pressure. And you guys can. No um, pressure. Yeah. <laughs> Dear lady, who did this to you? He's here, somewhere in the castle. Serious Black! It's like uh, every actor's fantasy, isn't it? I mean, something like Dumbledore being a Harry Potter. So I'm, I'm delighted. I enjoy every minute of it. This is a stunning cast this time, and they're so good, all those guys. There's a whole lot, Newton, and the magic never kind of goes. It's, it's a magic place to be. I am Professor Trelawney. Together, we shall cast ourselves into the future. She plays this eccentric character. Professor Trelawney scenes are actually oh, really yeah. fun. Well, yeah. the earlier she's, ones she, are really fun. She's insane. The she's much earlier ones, mad, yeah. she's absolutely crazy. crazy. And your reactions to her are really yeah. funny. And there's, like, there's scenes with me and Rupert in kind of divination just kind of slowly falling asleep yeah. outside <laughs> sure, and then being yeah. woken up by her huge eyes behind these glasses. She does see really, truly frightening things. She's looking into teacups and she, <gasps> so she sees something very nasty in store for Harry. You have the Grim. She ratchets up the suspense, basically. She's there to sort of really get the plot going and get us all feeling a bit nervous. Our own Rubius Hagrid. <laughs> Hagrid uh, becomes a teacher in this one. How am I doing my first day? Brilliant, Professor. He is so he pleased to be a professor. Isn't he beautiful? <laughs> Basically, he's in charge of, mag of the magical creatures, and uh, some of them are a bit unpredictable. Exactly what is that? That run is a hippogriff. Yeah, that was really amazing, because it's like half horse, half <laughs> eagle. I thought that was <laughs> quite cool. And it's Hagrid's job to introduce it to the children and show them how to do it right and how not to offend it or frighten it and so on. And of course, guess who gets it wrong? Great ugly brute. Malfoy. No, Malfoy. No! 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 Whoa! 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 Yeah. Whoa. Dobby was kind of the star of the second film, I yeah. think. Yeah, but yeah. it's going to be the star of this one, really. He's so real. So yeah. real. The film is a story filled with magic and magical creatures. That's looking really cool. We have a werewolf, the monster book of monsters. And it kind of, you do kind of think that if all textbooks had teeth and were this vicious, you would pay a lot more attention. Attention in class, yeah. yeah. definitely. There's a creature that the that mentors that they that, that they project that fear within. They act almost as a wake-up call to say, I do have weaknesses, I'm not that kind of powerful or that strong. The theme of the film, this kid finding his identity as a teenager and is learning that uh, both the fears and the power to fight them reside within. I hope he finds me, because when he does, I'm going to be ready. It's, it's more of an emotional journey. Than yeah, it's yeah. all emotional, and everyone's on the edge. And then it's just really exciting. Yeah. 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 Expecto Patrona! Well, that's about all we have time for tonight. We hope you've enjoyed seeing the film and our special sneak preview as much as we've enjoyed making all the Harry Potter films over the past few years. We've had a great time being your host for the evening and look forward to seeing you again when the movie opens June the 4th. Double, double,
This film has been rated PG.